Welcome to the third episode of the RC Pilot RC Van series. In this episode, we'll be looking at the decked drawer system and the focus of the episode will be on the Slide Master dual independently operating custom slides that will allow me to load and unload my large scale helicopters. The slides are the focus of this episode because they're so darn useful. The decked unit, don't get me wrong, is wonderful, but these slides transform the vertical height of my van so that I can have two giant scale helicopters, drawer space underneath, and then room for a top shelf to do even more storage or the transport of smaller aircraft. Let's get to it. We didn't go through the construction of this, but we've installed the decked unit in the back of the van. The decked unit is one very, very useful system. It's about 1400 bucks. You get it at decked.com. And the great thing about this is that you've got all kinds of storage space, both sides independently sliding out. Deck comes with these uh, D boxes as they call them and they're sealed. They've got rubber seals on the inside and uh, you can store all of your field tools in them. Uh, this one is the giant sucker. And then over here, this is my, when I just, this is what I need to carry out to the, the uh, flight line with me. Uh, I put all those tools in there. It's a very simple box. So that's the decked unit. And uh, on top of the deck unit, we're about to install these guys. Yeah, these are heavy duty slides for each of the helicopters. And we're gonna have one on each side. And then we'll have a wooden deck on top with compression springs to give a little ride bounce uh, to the helicopter while we're transporting it so that it doesn't get shocked if we go over any nasty bumps. This version of the slide has only two pieces. They make other slides with telescoping pieces of three units that allow the slide to extend 125% out from the base. We didn't need that kind of extension, nor frankly did we want the weight. I was concerned about mounting the slides onto the deck unit. And in fact, Slide Master does not recommend that you mount this on the deck unit, especially if you're going to put a lot of weight on it. But since our application involves only a 50 pound aircraft, I didn't see a problem with mounting this to the deck unit using riv nuts and the eight mounting points that they have built into the slide unit. Now, I mean, this thing is just not going anywhere, but you've got to understand that when this thing is extended, there is a lot of leverage put on the mounting points. So you don't wanna sit on this, you don't wanna stand on it, you just wanna use it for your aircraft. I love the two point locking system. It's just a pull, push pull handle. I can't even screw this up. You could be holding on to the handle when you reach the back end and it doesn't matter. And if I pull it, the slide won't release. I have to push it. In preparation for the deck mounting, I drilled two 11 30 seconds holes through the front part of this aluminum piece. And I did it with tape uh, just so I could peel the tape off, lay it down on the plywood, and then drill the proper holes for the plywood to line them up. Of course, I could drill into the plywood up from the bottom, but uh, I like to make sure everything is squared up and proper. And that's why I'm doing this first. All right, now we've got both slide master units in. These things each uh, support 400 pounds. So there is no way we're gonna come even close uh, to taxing the weight limits of this will be about an eighth of that. That combined with the storage space beneath here with the decks makes this area of the van super efficient. 
With the quarter inch masonite toppers in place, you can now see how well the slide works with the helicopter. So here's a quick addition to our sliding platforms. You'll notice that this sliding platform is mounted directly to the slide. What we did here is order compression springs and mount the deck to the compression springs and then threw it to the slide. And this gives the entire platform a little bounce, just a little bit. Now we can tighten these down to reduce the amount of bounce, but what this will help do is absorb the road shocks to the helicopter. In addition to that, we've changed the mounting system so that we're using bungee cord tie downs at each corner of the skids to keep the helicopter from moving backward and forward. But there is give. When there's a change in inertia, you want the helicopter to slide just a little bit. Don't come off the table, but absorb the shock. So the combination of the bungee cord tie downs and the compression springs will give this helicopter a very smooth ride. I can't begin to tell you how useful these slide out platforms are. Head out to slide-master.com and take a look at what they have. Triple slide, double slide, 80%, 90%, 125%, whatever it is, they can custom make a slide for your purpose, just like they did for us. In the next episode, we'll be constructing and installing the upper cabinets, we'll install the fold down shelf, and then we'll put in the giant cross van platform, good for storage or for sacking out your tired ass at a fun fly. We'll see you next episode.